Out of my way, cars, I'm driving in three dimensions. It's Asphalt 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. Out of control arcade style driving on the go. Just don't play it while you're driving. This is like Burnout mixed with Hydro Thunder thrown into a blender with some blur added for good measure and uh, numerous other arcade style games. Asphalt 3D doesn't do much new, but what it does, it does well because it's really fun. There's a surprising number of cars and tracks in this game. It looks great, it runs smoothly. At times it's overly stylish, but it has a corny, cheesy quality to it that says, Don't take me too seriously, I'm here for fun. And if you're up for driving like a crazy person, I'm your game. And check out the beautiful writing in this one. Amazing. This is like Shakespeare in 3D. Putting the dye in beach diet in no time flat. Wow, I'm, I'm gonna have to borrow that one at some point. And uh, all of the other cutscenes are just as bad. I mean, good. So, what you've got going on in this game is a bunch of different events that you have to win and earn experience points to buy new cars that you can upgrade and progress through all of the challenges in the game. And there's a lot of them. Sometimes the races are straightforward, win the race, other times they're drifting competitions or races where you have to crash all of the other cars like Burnout. The drifting was my least favorite. I, I really prefer the straightforward races and it's actually, it's actually really well done. It's just not very original, but you know, what is original these days? If it's original, it's usually not liked until somebody puts a lot of marketing money into it. I think that they're hoping the 3D sets this game apart and for what it's worth, it does work relatively well. It's fairly easy on the eyes, unlike some of the other 3DS games but you have to keep the 3DS still when you're playing it or it won't work. I found myself really getting into this game because I like arcade style driving games like this. And occasionally I would start steering with the 3DS, which ruins the 3D effect because you have to stare at it dead on to get the 3D. You can't look at it from the side or tilt it and move it around. But fortunately this game plays just as well if not better in 2D. It's a fun pick-up-and-play racing game, and there's a lot to keep players busy. Man, they build that new Nissan like a tank. That thing takes a lot of damage and just keeps on driving. However, don't run into any oncoming traffic or else you will be in last place. I've gone to Plaid if Plaid was the new Tron after you fill up your boost meter or whatever that thing is. In short, Asphalt 3D is good fun. It's not the best title they could have come up with. Asphalt 3D? Seriously? That's it? How many months went into that? Dragon Ninja Cyber Dungeon Death Race. 3D. That would have been a selling title. Right, any time you put Dragon, Ninja, and Dungeon in the title of a game, you've got an instant hit. Asphalt 3D makes the game sound less exciting than it is. I had a lot of fun playing this one. And it will take you a long time to win all of the events and all of the different challenges in the events and unlock some of the more exotic cars from Lamborghini, Ferrari, Bugatti. Aston Martin, BMW, Audi, and Ducati motorcycles. If only you were racing in a dungeon in space full of dragons. Best driving game ever made? No. But a really fun handheld driving game that'll keep you busy for a long time. Asphalt 3D. A title that puts the die in South Beach diet. <laughs> <laughs> 